Oh boy, as a Ravens fan, this one was kind of like, whoa, okay, well, I guess it's official that Tavon Young will no longer be a Raven. I, I thought that there was a possibility that the Ravens, even though they cut him, they could bring him back at a cheaper rate, but this ends all of that. So Tavon Young, uh, Ravens slot corner, um, he signed a one-year deal with the Chicago Bears. Um, so for the Bears, this is a good signing. Any Bears fans that are unfamiliar with Tavon Young and his time with the Ravens, uh, I'll gladly inform you of that. Um, so Tavon Young, from his rookie year, in his rookie year, uh, he was somebody that was always around the ball. Um, sometimes they would send him on blitzes. Uh, he would be getting interceptions. He ain't had no crazy interception numbers or anything like that, but he would get interceptions and get fumble recoveries. He was always around the ball. Um, he was a playmaker. He's a playmaker. Not the best of the best playmakers, but he was a, a significant playmaker. Um, Tavon Young, I think, in my opinion, one of his most underrated uh, parts about his game is his tackling. You look at Tavon Young, you're like, oh, small stature. He a slot cornerback. Now, he don't look too physical or nothing, but he is a, an exceptional tackler. He will grab them legs and he will wrap them up and he will find a way to bring you down. Uh, he like just just watch it, man. I, I, I guarantee you, you will be like, oh, OK, I like that. Um, but the only part, his biggest weakness in his game is injury. It's injuries. And that's that was his only downfall with the Ravens was injuries. Whenever he was out there, it was quality play. Um, but. Injuries just killed his time with the Ravens. But this is how you know, well, especially according to the Ravens, but this is how you know how much they valued him. Because despite all the injuries that he had, because he was getting injured like every other year. And injury, injured for the season, like injured for the whole year. He was getting injured, getting hurt for the whole year, every other year. But the Ravens, they still gave him a second contract. They still did. Even though he had a very big, bad injury history. They still gave him a second contract. So they valued him that much to where they were like, you know what? Despite the injuries, we still going to try to make this thing happen. We're just going to hope for the best. And it just overall, it just didn't work out. So I, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why the Bears, um, they are signing him to a one year deal um, because you do get a quality player. But with it being a one year deal. Excuse me, there's very low risk involved. It's not like, oh, the Bears, they committed so much money to Tavon Young and da 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 da, da. No, it's, it's just a one-year deal. So worst case scenario, if he did get hurt, which hopefully he doesn't, uh, but worst case scenario, if he did get hurt, it's like, oh, okay, it's just a one-year deal. All right, we'll move, for, move forward, move on. Uh, but best case scenario, hopefully this happens, is that he balls out, he goes crazy with it up in Chicago, and he does his thing. And boom, they can sign him to an extension. So hopefully it goes like really well uh, for Tavon Young with the Chicago Bears. Um, with him, uh, and it's been interesting to see uh, a lot of um, Ravens free agents. A lot of them are still free agents, but a lot of them are just signing for one year deals. The, the longest deal that I've seen from a former Raven, and it was also at the cornerback position, I was Anthony Averitt. Because he signed with the Raiders on a two-year deal. But Bradley Bozeman, the Ravens' starting center, one-year deal. Tavon Young, the Ravens' starting slot corner, one-year deal. Eric Thomason, their backup tight end, one-year deal. Josh Johnson, the backup quarterback, one-year deal. So those are kind of like you put asterisks next to them because they weren't starters. But And then there's a lot of Ravens' starters like Brandon Williams, Calais Campbell, who are they're still free agents right now. They are still free agents. They have not been signed by anybody. So the Ravens' uh, free agent class this year has um, uh, it's been sort of underwhelming a bit. Jimmy Smith, he hasn't officially retired yet, but he hasn't signed with a team. Pernell McPhee, he hasn't officially retired, and I don't think the expectation is that he retires, but he hasn't signed with a team. So it's like, oh, okay. I guess um, the NFL is not really valuing a lot of these Ravens' free agents. Uh, but with Tavon Young, he's still young. Um, well, he's going to be young forever, his last name. Uh, but with Tavon Young, he's still young, and he can still play. So this is, again, low-risk move by the Bears. 
uh, with a potential high reward. Uh, so I think this uh, this should work out for them uh, quite well. So shout out to them. I um I really did think that it was a possibility that they could bring them back, but I guess they're gonna go as far as the slot. You got the draft, of course, but and still got some free agents out there. But the Ravens are looking like they may go with uh, Ardarius Washington, maybe Brandon Stevens, Marlon Humphrey. He's played the slot a lot. Um, so we'll see what happens. So hope he does well with the Bears, and let's see how it goes. We out.